Tony Brinker Pickens is impacting communities one at a time. Hear how Tony and her team are doing it. Next. Well, I want to tell you something. I hope you'll come out and be a part of the service in Atlanta. It's going to be great. If not, we're going to be televising it here on Daystar. And uh, we're so delighted to have Tony Brinker Pickens. Now, I have to say that real slow because that's three whole names <laughs> instead of two. And uh, she is joined today by a lady with uh, Chick-fil-A that's a marketing uh, person. And that is... Tina Murray. There so we're going to find out more about that. And the cows are in the house. They're here. Yes. They're here. We're going to get to see them. So <laughs> let's welcome these ladies. Come on over. Let's talk. <laughs> Good to see you as well. All right, let, before we even talk to them, just can we just show the cows so everybody can see what <laughs> we're talking about? Where are the cows? Oh, there they are. Okay, there's the cows. Eat more chicken. <laughs> you know, this is interesting because it's a, it's a restaurant chain, and Tony, you are the widow of the late Norm Brinker, and he was a brilliant restaurateur, I guess that's how you'd say it. I know Chili's is, was one of his creations. What are some of the other restaurant chains that your late husband was involved with? Uh, he was involved with Jack in the Box. Uh, I love Jack in the Jack Box. Jack in the Box, way back when, when he first left college. He actually graduated the first of his class, and he, his first job was the dishwasher at the back of the restaurant. Wow. So, and I think the gentleman who gave him that job said, what can you do? And he said, well, I know I can wash dishes. Done. That's your job. <laughs> and from there, he moved forward. But he is considered the grandfather of casual dining. And um, so we now currently have Margiano's and Chili's. They are worldwide. He and uh, Mr. Kathy knew each other very, very well. So. Oh, that is so neat. And then a love story. You married you and T. Boone Pickens married on Valentine's Day of 2014. We did. We did. Uh, uh, Norman was actually called home in 2009. I did not anticipate ever remarrying, and I had known Norm for years and years. Uh, excuse me, T. Boone, for quite a long time. So and he's it pretty is, persuasive, isn't he? He's a very persuasive <laughs> man. He is. And I'm real interested on you singing happy birthday to him because you got a beautiful <laughs> voice. Uh, I, as listening to you, I've decided that when the good Lord calls me back, hopefully he will give me your voice Aww. when I'm in heaven because I have none. But you sing beautifully. Oh, Aww, that that's is awesome. so Thank very, you. very sweet. Operation Blue Shield. Let me just make this statement before Tony talks about that. You know, you've heard me say... Mm -hmm when the police have done wrong and that they should be held accountable. But the overwhelming majority of policemen, police women are good and they serve our country, they protect us, they're heroes in my mind. And now we've got so much uh, heat against the police that a lot of them are afraid to do their job. And there's not probably as many people even wanting or aspiring to be police. We need to pray for our policemen. We need to love them. We need to support them because they're doing an important job. And in many cases, they're protecting our lives. Is that true, Tony? That is true. It's all first responders. So think about your firemen and your EMS. So collectively, they're called first responders. But it is a very dangerous job. They are very under-thanked. Um, Operation Blue Shield is about bringing them together in the community so we can start a two-way conversation rather than what you see on TV nowadays is people uh, talking one way. They may be marching in the streets uh, and there are, there are issues on both sides, but you cannot resolve a problem until you have a two-way conversation in a structured environment so you have a positive way forward. Well, we've got a little roll in that tells you more about Operation Blue Shield. Let's watch this together. In recent months, some have lost faith and trust in those who protect us. Frustration has blurred our vision, but we've faced challenges before. Operation Blue Shield will facilitate the kinds of positive dialogue between communities and law enforcement that lead to unified solutions. 
I'm all in. I'm all in. We're all in. Join us. Let's do it together. Stand united with us at OperationBlueShield.com. This time, it's for all of us. Well, we're going to find out about the connection with Chick-fil-A and a race that's coming up in a moment. But, Tony, where did the inspiration come for Operation Blue Shield? Well, it was truly the hand of God. My husband and I were in New York City. He had gone off to tape an interview. I was there. I heard commotion out on the street. I walked out on the balcony and saw people marching down the street. I listened intently because I did not believe what I heard at the beginning. So what I did hear was, what do you want, dead cops? When oh, do you want no. them right now? Oh, no. Um, we flew home. We went back a week later, and I saw the same thing. So I ended up calling our police chief and, send, and telling him, Chief, I know there are issues. I know they are long-seated issues, uh, but you don't deserve this, and we don't deserve this negative input of information coming across the airways all day long. Um, he said to me, what are you going to do? I said, I don't have the faintest idea. I'll have to call you back and hung up. I called our mayor and said, um, Mayor, Dallas, Texas, the state of Texas, we do it differently here. We're good, strong Christians. We need to show the rest of the country that by coming together, we can make a dramatic change in our communities. Yes. And that dramatic change will help our nation. So, again, he said, what are you going to do? I said, don't know. Call you back. Worked through Christmas, worked through New Year's, hired an ad agency, and we came up with Operation Blue Shield. Well, it is a tremendous program. And so, uh, Tina, tell us about your involvement with Chick-fil-A. you got a marvelous personality. I can already tell that. <laughs> I know you're involved in marketing. And the cows are just glad y'all only serve chicken, That's not right. hamburgers. And diet lemonade so that we can keep you happy. That's right. I love the diet lemonade. <laughs> yes. I'll tell you what else they had the other day. And it was fabulous was that soft ice cream, that vanilla ice cream. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. my goodness well, gracious. Well, if you like lemonade and you like the ice cream, you should try frosted lemonade. We mix them together. Oh, it's, wow. It's a little healthier than, than the pure ice cream or milkshake. So uh, Dan Cathy, our, our president, would say drink responsibly either way. But frosted <laughs> lemonade really is delicious. I'm going to try that. You should do it on the way sure. home. For sure. All right, so what's coming up, how Chick-fil-A and Operation Blue Shield are working together? Yeah, so it actually started with our founder, Cherit Cathy, who mm -hmm. Tony had, has known in the past and gotten to know the Cathy family. But when he passed away, the operators in the Dallas market, which there's about 40 of them in Dallas, there's 87 in Dallas-Fort Worth combined, but they wanted to honor Truett, and they wanted to, to do a Founders Day event. And so um, what we decided was is that there, we didn't need to create one um, on our own, that there are plenty of great organizations in the community. One of our operators, Jeff White, knew Tony and mm -hmm. um, the OBS organization and um, partnered together and we developed a race. Um, we are all about great chicken, but we're also about family environment. We're about good community support and health. And so those things went together and we started working on this about a year ago. And so it, it's going to, all of it's going to come together on March 26th at the Dallas City Hall. And it's mm -hmm. the Chick-fil-A Race for Community, which mm -hmm. was appropriate. We were picking the name. It was so appropriate because unity is in the word community. Oh, yes. And so it, it made sense yeah, for us okay. to name it Race for Community. And uh, all, all of it benefits Operation Blue Shield. Okay, so who can run in this race and how long is this race? <laughs> Anybody could run or walk. If you're breathing, we encourage you to come on out and, uh, and participate. <laughs> but there is a, a one mile, a 5K, or a 10K. So if, if you're like me, you might do a little more waddling than running. But Tony's a runner, so mm -hmm. she, she may be doing the 10K that day. But um, anybody can, can do that. And you can register um, online at cfaraceseries.com. And so anybody can go and register um, now through on race day, too. We can register on site for you. Tony, the, cow, can, the cows are registering, right? But Tony, <laughs> can you run a 10K? Oh, sure. That's a long way. <laughs> it is a long way. <laughs> I, could, I could maybe run 10 blocks. I'm not even sure of <laughs> that. Probably five okay. blocks. But 10K, that is a long way. Yeah. Okay, so tell us, the cows, what are y'all doing over there? They, they're registering. Not, they're uh, re helping people register right now. All the, the viewers that you have can go online at cfaraceseries.com and, and register for the race. And so what we are focusing on are families, children, 
uh, any individual, as she says, that can walk or run, please come and walk with us because our first responders will be there. We've got Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, Navy SEALs. We have um, a lot of surprises. Oh, so, so it's important for people, if they are going to walk the whole 10 miles, to be talking with a police officer. We'd love to have your previous guests there as well. We have the men of Nehemiah who will be coming. Um, we've got firemen, uh, EMS. So anyone that feels that the community is important, which means all of us, yes. should register online and please make themselves present that day. You know, I think it's going to be so great because as this is successful, Operation Blue Shield in Dallas and in Texas, it can be a model for the rest of the country and eventually for the whole world because these same problems are everywhere. So Tony, how does Operation Blue Shield work? How do you work with the police and the inner city? What is that all about? Well, we actually create, fund, and promote outreach programs and we take those within the city. It doesn't make any difference whether you're an underprivileged, we have just the same amount of need in the more privileged areas of the city. Uh, we have things like church swaps where we have preachers who swap pulpits and then once they have completed with that, they go back to their congregants and tell them some of the things that they've learned. That originally started with Concord Church and Highland Park Baptist. So we had an African American preacher and a white preacher who switched pulpits. Tremendous. We also take that a little bit deeper into the churches and where we will do their Sunday school classes. So you'll take the kids that are about 8 to 10 or maybe 8 to 12 and they switch churches as well. So imagine the dialogue that you have after that, after the children in turn go to another church, actually see children their age, not the same color in many instances, but they come back and say, my goodness, you know, that was a great place for us to go. It is changing the dialogue in the, the family unit itself from maybe some areas where it's not so positive to a very positive point that impacts these small children as they grow. Um, that's just one of our programs. We have another program which is called Murdoch's Army, which happens to be Boone's four and a half pound Papillon. <laughs> but we want to have a little mascot, much like the cows, so that children can go online, they can download maybe a eight and a half by 11 piece of paper that is now, if you have a problem, this is a policeman, color him. Then they upload it to us and then we'll send that out to everyone. So we want every time they go online to have a teaching moment for them. Again, we're trying to change the dialogue that law enforcement first responders in our country are not the bad guys. That's we right. know that there are some that are, but we also know that there are people on the opposite side who have uh, done some things that maybe they shouldn't have done. So true. So you have to have an environment why, whereby people can uh, actually sit down and talk. We have um, a, a third one would be um, our operation My Neighborhood Counts. So you get city prosecutors and you get homeowner societies, you get people once a month to come together, either have lunch or dinner, and you talk about specific issues that are in your uh, going on. As an example, there are neighborhoods in Dallas and all across the United States where children have to study in a closet. They cannot study wow. by a window. And there are many homes where people actually don't have front doors and they don't have windows. So just understand that the dynamics where some people are brought up are totally different than what we know. It is so true. At the race, Chuck <laughs> Norris is going to be uh, showing people stretches. I, as old as I am, before I play golf, I have to stretch. But we've got Calvin Flood with us today. He is Rachel and Rebecca's personal fitness trainer. He is tremendous. And look, he's working the cows out. Yes, they're working out. I love it. All right, so that's going to be, so you got to get registered. Yeah. And you're going to need to stretch. And I think we've got another a station or two that, that we're going to check in with them right before we end this program in about a minute. But there's the information for the race. There's the website. And it's something that you will enjoy. As Tina said, you don't even have to run it. You can walk. Mm -hmm. uh, and 
Is there going to be any Chick fil A stuff out there? Oh, we, yes, of course. We can't have a Chick fil A race for the community without free Chick fil A chicken sandwiches. The hydration station, that's where they yeah, are. The yeah. hydration. It's important to drink your water, that's yes. for sure. So we'll have yes. some lemonade out there as well. So, you, you know, you, you've got to come. We've got chicken sandwiches and lemonade for you. And um, a whole program. I mean, after the race, we even have a kids zone. So families come out there and maybe they're not walking with the young children. There's a kids zone to keep them entertained and lots of stage time. Um, that they'll be entertainment on the stage, live music and such. And I know that Chick-fil-A has uh, helped uh, provide food for the Daystar Golf Tournament. And so we really yeah. do appreciate them. There they are. They're ready. Very much. They're right, hydrated. They are. They're stretched. They're, they're ready, ready to go. go to the Let's house. just pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for everyone that's watched today, every person that's called or emailed or written in. I ask you to minister to them, touch them, do amazing things in their life, meet every need and answer every prayer. In Jesus' wonderful name, amen.